Okay, I wanna explain a really important detail if you plan to change out your PEX for your water supplies in your basement. Some of this old copper is in pretty nasty shape, so there's a lot of good reason to go ahead and just replace it. But you have to pay attention to your electrical panel. Take off the box, pay attention to how it's grounded. If it, most of the time, in older homes, they used to ground everything to the main water supply. So pay attention to where that's at and make sure that you get your electrical panel grounded to the meter side of it. So I'll just show you real quickly how we go about doing that. It's a really quick, simple process. So ultimately it's a pretty simple installation. I use the number six gauge wire for this and they do have a knockout specifically on most panels to be able to run that ground wire. Just simply find a uh, empty bus or an em empty spot in your neutral ground bus and then staple this all the way around to where you can get to your meter. And uh, now this was a sandstone foundation, so it was kind of like Swiss cheese. It was really easy to use these little one hole straps uh, and, and anchor this into place. And then you just want to use a half inch copper clamp to attach that ground wire to the actual meter. Uh, just be sure you uh, sand down that copper. You definitely want to get a good... Uh, connection to that piping and then just know that some areas are might require you to jump the meter so going from one from that side to the other side so you might need a little short piece of copper to go over to that but in this scenario since I changed out everything to PEX uh, it wasn't a big deal and I actually was moving on to that I, I changed this ground wire before I uh, changed out all the PECs